Hey, Shiloh Baptist Church, Pastor Stephen Young here. On Sunday, I preached from Exodus chapter 23, a sermon about God's providence, and you can find that online if you're interested in it. But I did mention in that sermon, which was about 35 minutes long, maybe 40, a longer sermon for me, that I had about an hour and 15 minutes of content. There were some things that I needed to cut out. That's the nature of preaching. Uh, you have to edit and uh, find out what's important for the congregation to hear. Now, Shiloh Baptist Church is uh, really a church made up of many mature believers. And I would say that on Sunday morning, outside of maybe the children who haven't learned things yet, uh, everybody just takes it as a given that Moses did indeed write the book of Exodus. You would say, obviously, and I would too. Uh, in the book of Exodus, it tells us that uh, Moses was God's prophet, a prophet who spoke for God. It tells us that uh, he wrote down things that God said. It tells us that God spoke to Moses. It tells us that God spoke through Moses. And so even the book of Exodus itself points to Moses. Deuteronomy says it was Moses. Um, all through the uh, Old Testament and even in the New Testament, these books of the early part of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the Pentateuch, are, or the Torah, are referred to as Moses. Even Jesus himself called this part of the Bible Moses. And so uh, we are in good company to say it's obvious Moses wrote the book of Exodus. However, if you may be an unbeliever and say, I'm not totally convinced that everything the Bible says about itself is true, and so for me, it's going to take more than just the Bible saying Moses wrote it. And I can respect that because you, you know, if that's not true, if the Bible says something that's not true, then can you trust whatever else the Bible says? And um, that's a good question to ask because the book of Exodus has all kinds of um, declarations of great things that God did, appearing to Moses in a burning bush, uh, causing plagues to fall upon Egypt, parting the Red Sea, appearing before the people of Israel as an angel, as a cloud of fire by day, uh, cloud by day and fire by night. And so uh, you, you say, are these things true? Can they be true? Well, uh, that's going to really uh, be a question you need to answer because Exodus is the pivotal book of all the Old Testament. And um, all of Judaism is based on a historical event, something that God did. All of Christianity is based on an historical event, something that God did. These are not philosophical. These are uh, evidence-based. So Exodus, rescuing Israel from Egypt, the resurrection of Jesus, these are essential. If they didn't happen, None of the rest matters. So I want you to really address this, but uh, let me just share with you that there's two general thoughts about authorship in the book of Exodus. One is what we call the traditional view. The Bible claims Moses wrote the book of Exodus. It seems that he wrote it uh, right around the time that the Israelites were had encamped around Mount Sinai and towards the end of his life. And it seems that it was written in different parts and then compiled together in a way uh, led by the Holy Spirit that was faithful to Moses and uh, faithful to the Lord. And all right then, right around one generation uh, of the actual events that happened. And um, there is, however, um, what we would call a competing view that began about 1000 AD and was popularized by um, a Muslim named Ibn Hazm of Cordoba, who wanted to discredit the Bible in favor of the Quran. And so here's what he said. He said, you know, um, all of this Old Testament stuff about Moses, um, that's not really, that's not really true. He said, um, he said, when the Israelites came back from Babylon, and they were trying to establish themselves as a nation again, that they had to make up some mythology to give them a unity as a people and give them a reason for existing. So they made up the whole story about um, burning bushes and Moses and everything. And so 
this theory was developed by Julius Wellhausen in his work, uh, which would be called the uh, Hexatook Composition, but written in German, I can't pronounce that. And um, his hypothesis was that there were four later sources from the ninth century uh, through the sixth century BC, um, and that they took these and took these myths and took these stories and put them together to create a history for Israel. And this is called the documentary hypothesis. And that's what um, we would say liberal scholars believe. Anyone who wants to say that the Bible's not true, that it's mythology, they start pointing to this and say, oh yeah, we know that the book of Exodus was really just put together after the people came back from Babylon and retrojected onto Moses to make it look like he wrote those things. And um, now the problem with that is um, these four documents that they claim make up the, um, the, the book of Exodus, they claim that one is um, was written in the ninth century, the Yahwist document, another one, the eighth century, the Eloist document. These are different ways that God has referred to uh, in the scriptures. And so they say, well, if it says Eloist, it was from this time period, and Yahwist, it was that time period, uh, Yahweh or Elohim. Um, then they said the seventh century Deuteronomist Deut document and the sixth century priestly document. In other words, they said that all these different documents were compiled and this mythology was created. The problem is these documents don't actually exist. They're just assumed. Uh, these, these scholars said, well, because the vocabulary was like this over here and this over here, we think we can separate out different parts of the book of Exodus and, and claim different people wrote them. It's all just based on uh, imagination uh, of nuanced vocabulary. But if you really want to do a word study, if you really want to look at Hebrew and say, what can we figure out here? One thing you're going to see, and I think this is important, is that it couldn't have been written in uh, the time of Ezra by the priest or whoever, uh, coming back from 70 years in Babylon. There are, in the book of Exodus in Hebrew, uh, no Persian names, no toponyms, that would be what the Persians called certain places. Um, there are no loan words, um, would be that you borrow a word from, uh, from one language and start saying it in another. There's no presence uh, of, of any of that. So there's, there's no sixth century vocabulary. There's no Babylonian sound to it. However, in the book of Exodus, you find all kinds of Egyptian names uh, Egyptian toponyms, loan words, um, even the descriptions of the tabernacle as built are borrowed vocabulary from what Egypt said. Moses was educated in Egypt. The very language of the Exodus document that uh, in Hebrew, that book of the Bible, it's Hebrew with a high amount of Egyptian influence in its sound and in its wording, not Persian. So this couldn't have come from a thousand years later. Uh, it couldn't have come from uh, another time. It couldn't have come after Babylon. Um, but that's what a liberal scholar would say, oh yeah, that's where it came from, because what they want to do is say that if Moses didn't write it, then it's all fake. It's all mythology. However, if Moses did write it, as the Bible claims, there's a good case to be made that all of the things written in the book of Exodus are true. And uh, that's actually what I believe, that Moses wrote Exodus during the latter years of his life, beginning around the time of Mount Sinai. And that if you can make a case that some of his writing was compiled or organized or redacted in some way, that it would have happened right away, would have been faithful to Moses, and the process led by the Holy Spirit so that we would have a content start to finish. Now, in another video, I'm going to give you some more reasons, but we're going to address some other things. The next video I'm going to make, we're going to talk about when the Exodus occurred. When did the Israelites leave Egypt? Under what Pharaoh? I'll have that one on my next video. God bless you.